Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to discuss the standard of living theory of wages. Let's have a look into this. The standard of living theory of wages is something that was introduced in the late 19th century. And when we say the standard of living theory of wages, it is actually a refinement over the subsistence theory of wages. We have already considered the subsistence theory of wages. The theory tells that the wages which is given to the workers would be sufficient to satisfy their basic needs. Just sufficient enough wages to satisfy basic needs of workers. This is what we consider as the subsistence theory of wages. And uh, coming to the standard of living theory of wages, uh, this is something related to the wages of workers. Uh, and again, the theory says that the standard of living of the workers would be determining their wages. So here it plays emphasis to or it gives importance to the standard of living of workers. And the theory states that the wages is something that should be determined by the standard of living of workers and it should not be determined on the basis of the subsistence margin. Moving to the explanation of the theory, we could see that the wage is something that is determined on the basis of standard of living theory of standard of living of workers as per the standard of living theory of wages. living theory of wages and here the wages will be changing as per the standard of living of the people and wage as per the standard of living theory of wages should be based on the needs of the workers because it is the needs and wants of people and the attainment of the very same. The ability to attain these and the actual attainment of these would determine the actual standard of living of people. And whenever we consider the standard of living theory of wages, it doesn't say anything uh, regarding the fulfillment of all the wishes of people. But it says that the wages that is paid to the workers should be enough for them to satisfy their needs regarding certain necessities, certain needs regarding their comforts and also they could be able to satisfy little bit of their, their needs regarding luxuries in life. So the wage that is given to workers should be sufficiently enough to deal with necessities, comforts and little bit of luxuries in life. And the way should be sufficient to maintain a given standard. What happens if the wage is higher? If at all the wage that we have in the economy, the wage rate, this is higher than the standard of living. If this happens, there can be more marriages that will be happening in the economy. This will lead to increase in population. This will lead to increase in spending. And whenever population increases and supply of labor will also increase, right? The increase in standard of living means population increase and also the supply of labor will increase. And whenever supply of labor increase, what happens? Wage would automatically come down to the standard of living and again what happens if the wage is less than the standard of living if wage is less than the standard of living then in such case what happens is then there would be less marriages less spending the population would be coming down 
and when population comes down we will be having shortage of labor so the demand for labor would be increasing and whenever demand for labor increases wage rate in the economy will also be increasing and this will make the wage rate to increase to the standard of living the theory is actually based on certain assumption that standard of living will maintain the efficiency of workers so if workers have high standard of living that means their efficiency would be increasing so both these are uh, mutually uh, mutually related and that is what uh, the theory says and standard of living is also important to increase the efficiency in this case even though both are mutually related the efficiency of workers as per the theory efficiency is a function of standard of living again whenever these people are paid a high wage rate this is always desirable for the workers because whenever high wage rate is paid to workers this will be increasing their productivity this will be increasing their efficiency productivity or efficiency and whenever this increases efficiency the how this is increasing efficiency high wage rate means high standard of living and this high standard of living means people think okay i am working and that is why i am getting wage and that is why i am able to have high standard of living so i need to work efficiently so this will increase the efficiency of people so if workers have to attain a high standard of living and to maintain it then they will be working more and higher standard of living of workers will definitely help to save a little part of their income for the future what are the merits of this theory the theory gives importance to the aspects of efficiency as well as productivity and it says that the wages that is paid to workers as per standard of living is something that increases efficiency and productivity of the workers and work, when workers are paid high their standard of living would be increasing and this will lead to increase in efficiency high wage means high standard high standard of living and this means there is increase in productivity and efficiency again this high productivity will lead to high wage because whenever workers productivity increases that will make the uh, uh, employee employers to give them high wages again this will be increasing their standard of living again we could see that this will be increasing their productivity so that is why i told you that there exists some mutual connection here production and productivity would increase okay now the theory is not free from criticism the theory has got a lot many criticisms here individuals actually do not have a fixed standard of living for the very same reason you cannot fix a particular wage you cannot fix a wage whenever you fix a wage you have to consider the situation of the standard of living of every person and whenever you fix a wage and that would be based on the standard of living of a single person but this standard of living might not be same for all others for the very same reason standard of living theory of wages is being criticized again the theory is considered to be a one sided model it was giving over emphasis to the supply aspect and it was just neglecting the demand part it was not explaining the demand not explained and when it comes to uh, when it comes to supply over emphasis was given
that's all regarding the standard of living theory of wages hope you could understand i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos also you can join our free telegram community for your doubt clearance i'll be providing the link of the same in the description box you can also download the learn economy app i'll also provide the link of the same in the description box that's it thank you for watching